Hi guys, it's Leah with the Simplicity Sisters. I am about to clean my closet. My closet has become quite a mess. Over the last couple weeks, we had school start and just some transitional things happening. Seasons are changing and for that reason, my closet needs to be readdressed yet again. Um, so before I do that, I just want to talk about some of the things that I do when I am trying to be productive and I'm just not motivated or I am low energy. I have some health issues that sometimes really drain me and make it very hard to do the daily stuff, uh, adrenal fatigue, thyroid issues, things of that nature. And so it is sometimes really hard to just get going. And sometimes that means I need to rest. Other times it means I just have to push through and a couple things that I do when I am feeling that way and I need to push through a couple things I'm going to share with you so the first one is of course I have a huge cup of water with me when I am decluttering so that I can keep drinking lots of water it's something that I am really not good at staying hydrated but it makes a big difference in my energy so I always get a big cup of ice water when I am doing a task Today I also have a cup of coffee because it is early morning and I want to energize myself. Yes, coffee is not great for adrenal fatigue, but I do half-calf and I can usually handle it to, for the most part. I also like to use some energizing essential oils. One of the ones I use when I'm trying to get moving is Go, Go, Go by um, plant therapy and I'm actually not sure if they still make this blend it was clearance out a while ago so I got quite a bit of it another one I love from doTERRA is balance it is an amazing blend I would never ever get tired of smelling it so I will either put it in the diffuser or put it in a roller bottle and wear it um, balance is actually already diluted so you can actually put it right on your wrists or whatever which I'm going to do right now it smells so amazing. So my other tip that is kind of a weird one is of course to wear comfortable shoes. I have foot issues, I have pain issues and inflammation in my body from the autoimmune disorders. And I find it hard to stand for a long period of time, especially once I am working again, which is you know teaching, I end up standing up a long time those days that I'm teaching. So when I am doing housework, when I, even if I come home after a long day of teaching, I put on comfortable shoes. And by comfortable, I mean I wear the ugliest therapeutic shoes that you have ever seen, and I don't usually wear them out of the house because they are so ugly. But these are Ufos clogs, O-O-F-O-S. I will link them because these shoes it feels like you are getting a foot massage when you are walking i am not joking when i wear these shoes it's like it makes me want to get up because it puts this glorious pressure on my feet as i am walking around so it actually makes me work more when i wear these shoes a funny story, or maybe it's not that funny, is that I have worn these out to the store a few times in the last few months because I figure if I am wearing a mask, no one will recognize me. So even though they are extremely hideous, um, I do sometimes wear them if I am masked. So those are a few tips just to get your motivation up. Obviously, you can wear your own comfortable shoes, but these are so comfortable, I just can't tell you. If you have plantar fasciitis or tendonitis or chronic pain issues, I totally recommend checking out Ufo's shoes. So I am going to turn it to slow-mo and start doing this declutter. Hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great time decluttering. Watch to the end of the video for my total wardrobe count. I'm a little afraid to find out what the total is going to be, but I think it's important for me to take a really close look at what is actually in my closet right now. So stay tuned to the end and I will share those numbers with you. Um, some of my very favorite tips for reorganizing the closet are really simple ones. One of the things that's really helped me has been to try on my clothes in front of a mirror and also take selfies of the outfits. Not just trying on a shirt, but really trying to match up the shirt that goes with the pants, that goes with the sweater, etc. 
and taking selfies of those outfits when I'm really happy with them. Then I take the selfies and I put them together in like a, a collage for me to remember what you know seasonal items work together in which outfits. This has really helped me to purge items that are orphans, that don't belong with any other items, and to really see what truly flatters me and what does not, which sometimes looking at the photo gives me a much better idea than actually just looking straight in the mirror. So that's one of the things that has really helped me. Of course, getting rid of items that are really, really worn, even if there's something that you still wear. I think just reminding yourself if something has been worn so much that is showing a ton of wear, it's worth buying another of that item or finding something else to take the place. And just circulating the items in your closet can give you like a new option, a new view, and you can see new stuff that maybe you wouldn't have considered. There are items that I really love that I truly never wear and for whatever reason, they just don't work for my lifestyle. And there are things that I always hung on to in the past, but I have finally gotten, I guess, the motivation and the courage to just let go of items that are not getting worn. Even if I like them or if they are perfect for my aspirational life or my imaginary life, whatever, um, if I'm not wearing them, I am willing to let go of them and my closet is a happier place for it. So I truly do wear the items that I'm hanging right now up in front of us. Those are items that I wear on a regular basis. I keep the items that I wear a ton where you can see right there at the top and then I have the lower bar. I put stuff that I just don't reach for as often. Whether it is special occasion items or out of season clothing. So a lot of my winter stuff is hanging on the bottom. As you can see, it's a pretty small closet but I like to hang the clothes um, in color order and that really helps me when I'm looking for items. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's check out the wardrobe count. Okay, you guys, I am here with my closet totals. I just did a video for this category and I talked for like 10 minutes about my clothes and then I thought you know what you guys do not want to hear that I do not need to ramble about my clothes about why I made my decisions so I'm going to keep this much shorter um one thing I would like to share is that I did go through my closet I've been through my closet so many times but this time I went through my closet and I made this piece of paper with all of these categories of clothes and I made tally marks. And so I think it was kind of like Marie Kondo style in that I was piling them up by category. And that actually seemed to really help me because I realized what I had in different categories and how they might be just a little bit off, such as dresses. I had 25 dresses and that is after purging multiple dresses last week. So, um, Maybe you might, if you've never done that, maybe you might want to think about going through and categorizing stuff and just counting it up that way because it might give you a little more insight into, you know, why you have what you have or what you should maybe think about cutting back on. For me, I definitely cut back on some dresses, probably not enough. So I just thought you might like that uh, idea as you're going through your wardrobe. So here it is. Here are my totals for all the categories. So short sleeve shirts, 11. Long sleeve shirts, seven. Sweaters, 10. Kimonos, six. Pants, two. Shorts, six. Dresses, 19. Cardigans, 10. Jackets, eight. Leggings, three. Tank tops, eight. Sorry, couldn't read my writing. Um, loungewear, workout wear, and kind of PJ, like house clothes, I guess, 13. Jeans, five. Vests, three. Jumpsuits, two. Coats, two. Sweatshirts, two. Shoes, 19. The total for all of that is 125. And so that does not include jewelry. 
swimwear or under garments of any kind. What I learned is that I am really excessively attached to cardigans and dresses, and I do wear them a lot, to be fair. Um, and also that the kimonos might be out of control. So like for someone who lives in a really warm climate, I have a lot of toppers, basically. It's kind of disproportionately um, weighted to cold weather, which is crazy because I'm in a very warm climate. So I don't know. Anyway, um, I just thought you guys might want to see my total. My total is 125 at this time. Keep in mind that I purged three huge garbage bags of clothes over the last two weeks. Um, I think this is good progress. I'm happy with 125 for all seasons. Um, maybe 19 pairs of shoes is too many, but I do wear them and I do have picky feet. Does that help? Anyway, um, thanks for watching this video, especially if you hung in. This was a long one. Um, let me know in the comments how you like to organize your closet, how you make your decisions when you're purging your clothes. And if you have any ideas for more videos, please let us know. We would love to have you subscribe to our channel so that you can continue to get more decluttering, minimalism, and simplicity tips from us at the Simplicity Sisters. You guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you later. Bye.